नमस्कार हेलो एंड अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू सी आई टी एंड सी आर टी इज लाइव फोन इन इंटरक्टिव प्रोग्राम माई नेम इज तनवी खुराना एंड दिस इज अ फाइव डे ट्रेनिंग ऑनलाइन ट्रेनिंग गोइंग ऑन ऑन गेम बेस्ड लर्निंग सो सो फार वी हैव अंडरस्टूड वॉट डिजिटल गेम्स आर ऑल अबाउट वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन डिजिटल गेम्स एंड गेमिफिकेशन वी इवन अंडरस्टूड हाउ कैन वी यूज लूमी एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ डिजिटल गेम्स यूजिंग स्क्रैच If you have any questions, any queries, please feel free to give us a call on our number, which is double eight double zero double four zero double five nine. And uh, if you want to email us, the email ID would be training dot help desk at the rate c i e t dot n i c dot i n. You're watching us live at this moment from P M E Vidya channel number six to channel number twelve, and also on our YouTube channel, which is N C E R T official. In the live chat box, you can write down your questions, queries, and let us know about it. Till five o'clock, we have two experts, and they will be telling you everything regarding Scratch. How can you develop those digital games using Scratch? So let me introduce our today's guest to all of you. We have with us Mr. Neeraj. Welcome, sir. Thank you so much, ma'am. Sir is a lead consultant from Learning Links Foundation, and along with him, we have one more guest, and she is Miss Farhana Begum. Welcome, ma'am. So, ma'am. Thank you so much. Namaste, everyone. Namaskar, ma'am. Ma'am is the principal consultant from Learning Links Foundation. I welcome both of you, sir and ma'am, once again in this program, and we'll begin uh, understanding what Scratch is all about very, very soon. But before that, let me tell all our viewers that this is the final day, and yes, the excitement, the wait is actually going to be over. When I'll be letting you know that uh, the quiz link will be given to you towards the end of this program, and I'll show you that how can you register, you can participate, and be a part of this program. And if you score seventy percent or above in the quiz then you will be getting a participation certificate as well so please go to the website ciet and register yourself right now and if you have not seen our earlier programs then please watch it all this training is extremely useful for all those teachers students who are playing or want to build digital games using various softwares so let's begin our today's program and uh, let me ask sir first question sir what is scratch all about how can we use it how can we develop those digital games using scratch yeah i uh, so scratch is basically a online tool where you can design your own visual games animation stories and even you can download scratch on your computer or even you can use scratch on your mobile phone so there is a way to download scratch and how to access scratch on google so i'll tell you in brief uh, after this okay so as uh, so we can see your uh, shared screen and uh, there's yes. something we can see would you like to explain what are these tools yes yes yes, yes. so basically scratch is a e tool basically what you have to do if you want to create your own games if you want to create your own digital animation stories uh, first of all what you have to do just open the google browser either in your mobile phone or on your laptop computer just write scratch 3.0 So after writing the three, uh, scratch 3.0, you will see the first link, scratch image in project and share. So click on the first link. From by using this link, you can see this website, and here you can create your own animations on digital games. And the second method, if you want to uh, download this software on your laptop, you just need to write scratch 3.0 and download. So here, here you can see we have. Uh, various options. If you have a uh, Windows, if you have an iPhone, if you have a mobile phone, so you can download uh, your Scratch as per your tool. So here we have requirements like Windows 10, Mac operating system, Chromebook, or Android OS. So just what you have to do, click on the dialog uh, download option, and by using this uh, link, you can direct download this software on your laptop. And after installing, you can access this uh, tool, which is completely free of cost. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh. So, uh, what else? Now? So, uh, so what else uh, would you like to share with us uh, regarding Scratch? Yes. So, can you see my screen now? Yes, sir. We can see yes. your screen. So here. Uh, right. 
So here is the screen you where you can just write Scratch 3.0 download on your Google browser and mm -hmm. following the first link, Scratch Offline Editor. So while using this link, you can download the software as per the, your requirement. Like if you have a Windows 10, if you have Mac operating system, Chrome OS or Android 6.0 plus. So just what you need to do, just click on this link, direct download. By click on this direct download, you can easily download the software on your system and it's completely free of cost. And it, yes, and you want if you want to use it online, if you want to, to use it on your mobile phone, just search Scratch 3.0 online software. And this is how you can create your own animations over this uh, tool. So now, uh, if you want to develop your own games, what you have to do, you have to first understand about this tool. So here I'm going to show you uh, the interface of this software. This is the interface of this software and in today's session we are going to understand the difference or how and uh, how we can understand about the metals and non-metals. So in this tutorial, in this game, uh, in this uh, project basically we are going to design a game where you can see uh, here we have a catcher and here we have a scoreboard and with a timer. So now what we have to do, we have to collect metals. So you can see from the top side there are some uh, uh, balls are there having nickel, iodine, oxygen, hydrogen. And we have to collect metals. If you collect the metal, you will get score 1. And if you collect non-metals, uh, the score will reduce by minus 1. And total, we have a time limit of 30 seconds. So within 30 seconds or within 10 seconds, you have to collect maximum metals from the screen. So this is the uh, game that we are going to design in uh, the today's session. This is really interesting, sir. With the help of this game, we will even get the knowledge of metals and non-metals. Yes. So, shall we start? Yes, sir. absolutely. Yeah, okay. So, uh, before uh, starting, I just want to uh, request you, just download this Crash uh, software 3.0 on your system. Now, what you have to do, this is my interface. So, first of all, what we will do, we will add elements. Elements mean sprite. So to add the sprite, first we will delete this sprite, that is the existing sprite from here. Now we will add two sprites with the name of metal and non-metal. So what we will do, we have an option here to call the sprite. If you want to call the sprite on your software, just click here and search for the sprite. So we have here a lot of images, uh, we call it sprite. So I will use the picture of this ball and here is my first sprite, I will rename this. I'll rename this as metal. So I'll consider it as a metal. Okay. Now we'll take one more sprite from the sprite section. Uh, the again the ball, and we will rename it as a non-metal. I hope you all knows about metal and non-metal. So here I'm changing the name from ball to non-metal. All right. Now I think uh, most. So if you know that we have a lot of elements, uh, like if I call out metal or non-metal. So first we'll see, when I click the metal, this blah, this option, sprite option, you can see in the costume part, it is the costume part. So here we have total 5 costumes, costume 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So what we will do, we will rename this, okay, we will name this, like suppose the first, uh, I'll take the copper, I'll consider this ball as a copper. So what I'll do, I'll write here CU. CU stands for copper and I'll change the name, uh, color, font uh, like black. Okay, so CU is the symbol of copper and here I'll write uh, just a second, yeah. CU, CO, double P, yeah, that is our first element. Okay, and then what we will do, we will resize it so that it will fit in, inside the box, inside the ball. So this is my first element, copper. Now, uh, again, what we will do, we will use another four circles and we will rename it. So the first one is copper, let's take another uh, metal that is iron. So we will write as a Fe and then we will rename it iron. And here, the name of this metal goes here like this. Okay, then we'll take the third metal uh, zinc. So ZN is a symbol, and we'll write here ZINC zinc. Okay, 
So this is now I am here. What I am doing? I am just uh, resizing it so that it will fit inside my this circle. If you want, you can change the size, or if you want, you can use any other language also, not only English. If you want to use Hindi or Urdu, you can use over here. All right. Now we will take the fourth ball and we will consider it as a metal uh, with the name of nickel. So I'll write here N I and I write here N I C K E L nickel. So this is our fourth element. So in the same way, total how many elements we will take? We will take in this game. We will take total five metals and five non-metal. So I'll just. Make it like a uh, Muslim, and the fourth one will take a uh, platinum. So the word for platinum is T T, and here I'll write T A uh, T L A T I N U M. Okay, now the last we have to resize resize it. So this is the editing part where you can resize your sprites where you can color modify or you can cut copy whatever you want you can do it in this editing part so this is the costume part here i'm just writing the name over the balls okay so here you can see my five metals are ready the first one is copper iron zinc uh, nickel and platinum so in the same way we'll rename we'll name uh, as a, this ball as a non metal We'll consider uh, this is a non-metal. So now, what we will do? We'll same. We'll write a uh, name of the non-metals over the box. So first, I'll take this as a uh, oxygen. So I'll write O, and I'll read, uh, rename it. I uh, name it O X Y G E N. So this is my oxygen. So in the same way, we have to we have to write the name of four uh, non-metals over this uh, circular ball. Now, so this one is the iodine. I'll write it I and space I. Uh, yes, so we have I O D I N E iodine. So you can guess. Uh, can you tell me some name of the metals or non-metals in the comment box? If you have, you can see what are the. What should I take? मुझे बता सकते हैं. If you want any, you can suggest me any non-metal in the chat box. So I'll write the name over here. Now I'll take one more uh, metal that is hydrogen. So hydrogen not for non-metal that doesn't react with uh, H Y G R O G E N. Yes. And can anyone tell me what is the difference between metal and non-metal? How many metals we have? Yes. So this is how I resize this. Uh, the name over here. So this is the third one, hydrogen, and the last one, or not the last, the fourth one is B R. That is bromine. So I'll write here B R O M I N E, bromine. And here, just resize it and put it inside the circle. And the last, the fifth one, that is uh, I. Uh, we have done with uh, yeah, chlorine. So I'll write here. Uh, C L C H L O R I N E chlorine. Okay, so we have we have we have named five metal and five non-metal. Now the costume uh, part is done. Now what we will do? Now we will start the programming part. So for programming part, what we have to do in this game, we have to uh, start with. Uh, So what we need to do, the copper, the metal and the non-metal will start falling from the top, from top to the downside, means from positive y to negative y. The same way, non-metal is also for uh, uh, non-metal also uh, fall will fall from top to bottom. And what we have to do, we need a catcher that will catches this metal. So if I get, if I uh, collect the metal, I will get plus one, and if I collect non-metal, I will get minus one as a score. So before, uh, so now what we will need to do, uh, we'll go here in the code part. That is a coding section. Now first, uh, we need a catcher. So to for a catcher, what you have to do, uh, we'll go here and we'll search a ball. Ball means uh, ball something like a catcher. So right here, uh, B O W 
n. So you can see here a bound. So we have to select this bound as a catcher and we'll place it in here on that bottom side. All right. Now let's uh, do a little programming. If I want to move my catcher like this way, this way and that way, so I need to do a small coding. So for a small coding, uh, what we have to do, we'll uh, write a small code. So first we'll select this uh, bound. We'll change the name as a catcher. C A T C H E R. Okay. Now uh, to move this ball left and right, first we have to go here in the coding section. This is our palette, and in the palette, uh, we'll start with the when we click the green flag. When we I click the green flag, so I'll go here in the event section. I'll use this block green color. Okay. So when I click the green flag, what will happen? My I want. So when I after clicking the green flag, whenever I click my buttons of my laptop, means arrow buttons, right or left, when I click right button, it should move right side. When I press left button, it should move left side. So for that, we what we'll do? We'll use a condition if condition. So we'll go here in the control section. In the control section, I'll use two if blocks. Okay, one is for right side, one is for left side. All right. I have used two block. One is for right side, one is for left side. Now here, I am going to use a sensor. Sensor because whenever, whenever I am going to click my left and right button, जब भी मैं left side button press करूँगा मेरा ball left side move करना चाहिए. So for that, uh, here I will use this uh, option that is the key button press. Means whenever if the key button which key uh, the right key. If the right key pressed, then what will happen? And if the Left key button pressed, then what will happen? So here is my left uh, left arrow. This is right arrow, and this is left arrow. When I press the right arrow, that means my ball, my catcher should move towards the right x-axis. So for to move in the towards x-axis, we will go here. And in the motion section, in the motion section, you can see there is an option for change the value of x. Change the value of x means here we are following the x and y axis. This complete white screen is divided into two parts, x and y. So that's why I'm using here uh, x axis and y axis. Okay. So now here, change x y 10. Again, I'll use the same block, but now here I'll put a negative sign. Negative sign means it moves in the opposite direction. Okay. Uh, just a second. Yes. So minus 10. All right. So this is we have done. Now, what we have to do? We want to make it in a continuous form. So, what I'll do? I'll use a uh, one more block that is a forever block. Forever means continuous, unlimited. So, this is our program done for moving the catcher left and right. So, I'll show you. I'll click green flag. I'm clicking my left, uh, right button and left button. So, now you can see by clicking the right or left arrow, my ball is moving left and right. So this is simple. We have done a small programming for the catcher. Now what we have to do? Now we have to program our metals and non-metals in a way that it resembles that it's that the metals are falling from the top to the down side. So to to for to design a program, first we need to select the metallic part. All right. I have selected the metallic part. Now now the next step is we have to do a small programming. So small programming means whenever I click the green flag, my metal it 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 starts falling from this top layer. Top layer means from the top here. You can see on the screen. So to start it, what we have to do again, we need a block that is event block. In the event block, you can see the first block that is green flag is clicked. Means when the green flag is clicked, then what will happen? Uh, when the green flag is clicked. Then our uh, this the the metal will start its position from the top side. So to start the position to initiate its uh, position, we need to first go in the motion block, and we have to use a block that is go to random position. Why I'm using go to random position so that my block will uh, my block my uh, element my element or my metal. Will uh, go at a random position anywhere, but I want to start it from this point. So what I'll do? I'll use a block that is set y to y means the y direction. 
by axis sorry by means by axis set y to so right now my metal is here and the position of y is 172 so i'll write here 170 so whenever i click the green flag my copper or my metal will start its position from this point this point means the y is always 170 and random position why i use random position so it will start from any point randomly so you can see it's moving at a random position but the value of y is fixed means this y axis is fixed okay the same thing what, uh, we will do in the non metal also in the non metallic part in the non metal uh, we also do the same thing we'll go here we'll select non metal and first we will click the event in the event i'll select green button whenever i click the green button then what will happen it starts its, its position from the random position uh, random means uh, here you can see go to random position random means any point but yes i want to set a fixed y axis so that's why i used set y to 170 One seven zero. Okay, so as you can see, when I click the green flag, now my both metal and non-metal are on the same y-axis, but they have a random position. Now, the next is now we have to we have to uh, program it. We have to code it in the form uh, in the in the form that it resembles that it's they are falling from down to bottom. हमें इसको इस तरह से प्रोग्राम करना है कि अभी हमें ऐसा लगेगा कि ये down से bottom की तरफ fall कर रहा है. So, उसके लिए वी नीड टू वन मोर ग्रीन बटन ग्रीन बटन मीन अ ग्रीन फ्लैग सो हेयर आई गेन वट आई डू आई गो हेयर इन द्री इवेंट सेक्शन आई यूज अ ग्रीन फ्लैग ओके अगेन आई एम यूजिंग आई एम डूइंग अ न्यू प्रोग्रामिंग मीन्स टू फॉल द मेटल और नॉन मेटल फ्रॉम टॉप टू द डाउन सो फॉर दैट आई एम यूजिंग अ ग्रीन फ्लैग वेन एवर आई क्लिक द ग्रीन फ्लैग देन वट विल हैपन माइ पोजिशन ऑफ वाई विल चेंज बाय minus 4 4 steps so here i'll go in the uh, motion section and i'll use a change option change the y change y means here y means axis so i'm talking about the axis so i will change the value of y by minus 5 okay now after that i want to start changing its position i'll show you how so when i click green button so can you see uh, it's changing its position but yes at the same time i want uh, Uh, it start moving toward downside so i'll do one thing i'll go in the control section and the control section i'll use a block that is forever block i'll put inside the forever block now can you see here it's falling down when i click the green button you can see the metal is falling down all right so this is how it work it change its y axis by minus 5555 now we will apply a condition ki when the metal touches the downside it will disappear and it again start its position from the top all right so for that we need a condition that is if condition so to use that condition i'll go here in the control section i'll use if condition it is and here we need a operator operator means to compare comparison so here the green block is a operator and i'm going to use a operator this operator okay this is a operator which means you can compare less than greater than all right so here i'm using this operator as a here inside i'll fix it inside now i want can you see my metal right now on the screen my metal is at the bottom and th at this point the value of y axis is minus 170 okay so what i'll do i'll write here uh, minus 160 i'll take 160 see when the metal touches the value of minus 160 okay but now here this is empty and we need a live num value The live value of a metal. Suppose my value, my metal is right now here. There are metal being here. Here, the current value or current position of my copper or my metal is 55. I, if I put it here, the current value is minus 64. But how can I count? How can I check the current value? So to current the check value, with what we will do? We will go in the motion block, and here we will have a, an option for y position. So this y position or x position gives the live value of the component of the strike so here i have apply a condition ki if the live value is less than minus 160 means minus 161 minus 162 then what will happen then what will happen so it will automatically change its value change its value means will go in the motion section 
and then we will change we will uh, when the metal touches the down point matlab jab hamara metal uh, 160 se aur niche chala jayega then what will happen automatically upar chala jaye so upar jaane ke liye we will do the same programming that we already did here so we again use go to random block uh, random position we will put it inside and again we will use the set value set value means uh, to put the metal on the top so we will put set y to how much 170 because 170 is the upper limit okay so this is how we have done now i'll i'll uh, i'll uh, you can now can see here it drops down now it's coming back again from the top इन्होंने नीचे टच किया मेटल ने नीचे टच किया और फिर से वो ऊपर से फिर से आने शुरू कर दिया सो दिस इज हाउ आर कॉपर मेटल इज अपियरिंग फ्रॉम द टॉप फॉलोइंग डाउन एंड अगेन इट्स अगेन स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द टॉप नाउ यू कैन सी इट्स चेंजिंग इट्स पोजीशन और पोजीशन आल्सो पोजीशन मींस एक्स एक्सिस इट्स चेंजिंग इट्स पोजीशन बट नाउ हैव यू ऑब्जर्व कि कंटीन्यूअसली वी वी कैन सी हियर द कॉपर इज कमिंग बट इन द Uh, costume part we have renamed it in the five uh, metals like copper uh, iron zinc and uh, so we need all these uh, uh, metals also in this game hum chahte ki aur bhi aaye because we have to collect metals so to change the uh, metal to change the name or to change the uh, uh, balls what we need to do we have to go in the looks button and in the looks button here we have an option for costume next costume so we'll just drag and drop the next costume inside it now you can see metal fall down and then the color is also changing means the metallic part is also changing now copper now iron so this is how you can change the metals all right so the first part we have done now what we will do again the same thing we have to do with the non metallic part all right so we have two options either what you can do either you just go over the non metallic part and do the same programming again or so first of all the next other option is just make a duplicate of it just to make a duplicate of it this is a duplicate drag and drop this code the first code over the non metallic part over the non metallic item okay so now when i click this one you can see the same code is now copied here So this is the uh, method where you can save your time. But yes, if you want to create your own complete code, you can follow. All right. So this is how smartly you can work. So what I'll do, I'll delete the first part here. You can see, I have copied it. I'll delete this one. I'll delete the extra uh, copied part. So I have deleted. So this is a uh, this is the coding of metal. Okay. This is the coding of metal. Now. i am showing you the coding of non metal so this is the coding of non metal so what i did i just copy the code from the metallic part and paste it over the non metallic because both are same okay the uh, logic is same for the non metal also it will start falling from the top and then follows it touches the bottom and then it will again uh, uh, start from the top side uh, all right now let's see how it works so i'll click the green flag Now can you see the balls, uh, the uh, metals and non-metals are falling from the top to the down and having a random uh, uh, place. Now, now here, now we have done with the metallic part. We have uh, renamed, we have changed the names of the metals. We have changed the names of non-metal. We have added the catcher in our game. Now what we have to do? There are two things that is missing. The first is the timer. We have to add a timer. and the second is score how much score we have so if you are going to touch metal you will get plus 1 if you touch non metal you will get minus 1 okay so we'll start with the, the score board so how to add score so first if i talks about metal na pehle agar metal ki baat karta hu to mujhe agar metal pe mujhe programming karna hai if i want to do a programming on metals so what i'll do i'll select the first metal part here now we'll add a score so how to add a score how to add positive one or how to add negative one so for that what we will do i uh, will go here in the variable option can you see the variable block here the orange one then we'll just click on it variable and select a new variable means here we are going to create a scoreboard so i'll click a make a variable with the name of score s c o r e score and i'll select for all sprites okay so click 
score. Now, can you see on the, this screen the scoreboard here? This is the scoreboard. Mm -hmm. Now we have to do the programming. Now we have to do programming. Karna hai, right. So I want that whenever uh, my catcher, my this catcher will touches the uh, metal, it will go. It will give me a one point. Okay. So for that, what we will do? We'll uh, start with the control section, even section, and we'll first drag green button. Means whenever I click the green button, then what will happen? It will set my score. It will initially set my score to 30 or 20, whatever you want. If you want. The game should be of 20 seconds, 30 seconds. You can change the timing accordingly. So I want, I, I'll just do one thing. I'll use this block, set my variable to zero. And here my variable is score. I have changed the name of my variable. That is the score. So I just set the value of score to 20. Okay. Or you can use 30 also. Even Anna, my game's uh, duration is of 30 seconds. So that's why I use here. When I click the green button, my score uh, starts from 30. So can you see here, right now the score is 0, but when I click green button, it will show me 30. Now 30, okay? So it starts from 30. Now, uh, I think most of you have seen while playing the games, it starts in a negative number. So for that, what we will do, we will add a variable with the name of uh, forever block, okay? And then here, I am going to uh, use condition that is if condition. If condition, if my uh, ball touches the beaker, so if my ball, if my uh, metal touches the beaker, so I will use a uh, uh, catcher. If my uh, metal touches the catcher, then what will happen? I want a sound also. So I will use a pop up sound. A pop up sound will appear, and after that, uh, the ball will move to a random position. Okay, so I'll go here in the motion block and I'll use a go to random block, random position. And then I want to, the costume should also change. So here I'll select the costume part. Next costume. And then after changing the costume, the ball, uh, the metal should start from the same position that is 180. So I'll do it as a my uh, set y to 180 okay uh, uh, let's see how it uh, work score is zero uh, just a second now so can you see the sound but yes we have to add one more thing that is uh, so right now the score is zero uh, yes so here uh, when uh, Whatever, just a second, score is zero. If you press the catcher, then what will happen? It will change the score also. So we'll go in the variable block, and here it will change. With the right of the, uh, the score is not changing, so I'll change the score by one. Okay, now you can see whenever I touch the metal, uh, 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 so here. Uh, I will use the size of the screen. Yes. So, uh, what will happen? When I click the green flag, it will set my score to zero. And after that, I will remove this block from here. We will put it inside it like this. And we will put it like change the score by one. Okay. And here uh, we have done all. Okay. Yes. So, can you see? Uh, this is my metal. Sir, uh, we have received a query here. So, yes. one of our viewers, Suraj Sain, he's asking that uh, mm. can we set the speed for the next ball uh, when it comes? How can we set the speed, particular speed of the yes. ball? Yes. Uh, yes. If you want to set the speed of the ball, what you need to do, just you can change the uh, value from here. So, can you see this change by y? Just do one thing. Minus 5 instead of minus y, if you write here minus 10, okay. Now, I'll do the changes for the both the blocks uh, for metal and for non-metal also. So, I'll change it as a minus 10 and now you can see the speed. Okay, so 
this is how we can change the speed of a ball. And if we want to um, make it slower, then uh, instead of yes. minus 10, we can maybe reduce it to minus 2. Minus 2, yes. If I write here minus 2, now we can reduce the uh, speed of the uh, metal and non-metal that are falling. So minus 2, it will, uh, you can see like this. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, if you can see, uh, if I take touches 1, 2, okay. So this is how we can add the numbers or the score. And if you want to add the timer, just what you need to do, you have to uh, add a timer block inside it. Alright. So uh, students and teachers, it's a uh, homework for you. Just like how I have added a score block. Here you can see, I have added a score block over here. Whenever my catcher touches the uh, metal, I can, you can see the score is increasing one by one. So here, uh, if I uh, now talks about, if I touch hydrogen or iron, suppose I touch iron, the score is one. Okay, if I touch zinc, the score is two. All right, now what you have to do, you have to make a program, ki when I touch the non-metal, the score will reduce by minus one. Okay, so this is a homework for you. Just what you need to do, just you have to write a minus one here, that's it. When you write a minus one, automatically when your ball or catcher touches a non-metal, your number or your score will reduce by minus one. But yes, uh, one thing I want to add here, the timer. If I want to add a timer, just click on that catcher ball and open the variable, create a uh, new variable with the name of uh, timer, T-I-M-E-R, and just click on OK. Okay, now can you see here, the timer is now zero. Now here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, call, like when you click the green flag, then what will happen, our timer will start. Okay, so we'll go here in the variable block, set the value of timer, that is 30. And after that, I want it should repeat. Uh, it should for repeat, what we will do, we'll use a block, that is repeat block. Okay, and how much time I want to repeat it? I want to repeat for 30 times. So I'll write here 30. Uh, okay, then we'll go in the variable section. And in the variable section, here uh, you can see we have an option for change variable, means change the timer. So by how much the time you want to change? By minus one. I want it starts from 30 and it's changed by minus one, minus one after the interval of time. So the interval of time will be one second. So for that, I'll add one second like this. All right, now you can see here, now the time starts from 30, 29, 28, 27, and I have to catch the metals. So how, the, whenever I catch the metal, my number will also increase. Okay, so this is, uh, I have collected like bromium or zinc, I'll select zinc, I'll catch zinc, two, nickel, three, then we have uh, copper and chlorine. So you have to decide which one is a metal and which one is a non-metal. Okay. All right. Yes. Sir, uh, we have a question by Rashi and she is asking, can we change the color of the ball and uh, is it possible then when it comes down, the color automatically changes? Yes, you can change the color. If you can see here, if I select metal or non-metal, if I suppose select metal and in the metal, can you see here in the top side costume, when you click on the costume part, here we have five uh, costumes, means we have five different color balls but yes if you want to increase the numbers if you want to make your game complex then what you will do just make a duplicate of this ball and you can change the color so, okay so we have if i click my right button here we have an option for duplicate just click on duplicate now you can see we have a more ball and if you want to change the name if you want to use any other name just rename it or if you want to change the color then we have an option for changing the color also okay so this is how I have changed the color. Now we can use any color. Like suppose we have uh, red. All right. So this is how you can create multiple elements by uh, using this option, costume option. And you can use, uh, change the name, or you can use other metals or non-metal theme also in this game. That's great. Uh, so um, would you like to address one more question here at this point? Yes. Okay. So Zarina wants to know that uh, Scratch is very interesting and innovative gamifying tool. But uh, if, when she's observing you, uh, you know, making this game, she's asking there are a lot of coding in Scratch. So how can we understand each code of operation for gamification? 
right right so basically what i'm uh, here you can say it's not a coding uh, if i say it's not text based it's not a text based coding it's a block based coding so first you have to understand the block meaning of the blocks okay so here if you can see we have if we call it palettes now the first part if i click on the motion block it simply it is its name signifies move move means you have to move means the object should move okay the second is turn 15 degree so all the names are clearly mentioned over here what you have to do you have to just understand and for better uh, better uh, knowledge agar aapko acche se seekhna hai here we have an option for tutorial just click on the tutorial and you can see we have a lot of basic tutorials from where you can uh, understand the basic concepts about the uh, how to change background how to change the how to change styles how to add voice how to add songs music in it okay so this is the basic thing and if you want to learn more then there is an official government website planet code where you can learn more about game development yes ma'am okay okay and um, so um, suraj is asking that uh, can we see the last highest score on the screen uh yes yes so for that what we need to do we have to collect maximum uh medals uh in this game so okay. if i'll start this game you can see the game started from 30 seconds now i have to do what i have to do i have to collect medals okay so now uh, what i am here doing uh just i'll i'll collect the like, copper is positive one then here i'll select uh, i'll collect platinum so it depends on you how much you are faster how much your game is faster so if you increase the numbers if you increase the numbers means if you increase the value of y axis the following one this one if i instead of minus 2 i'll write minus 5 here and again in the non metal i'll you i'll write minus 5 so this increase my speed of the game and in a similar way i can collect more metals okay, okay. so uh, yeah yeah uh, so if any teacher wants to share this particular game uh, with the, their students how can they do that uh, only with the help of scratch or is there any other method so teacher want to share the game with the students yes that's a question yeah so if a teacher want to share uh, this uh, this game so basically uh, what you can do here as i already mentioned we have an option for tutorials first a teacher a student can uh, have a look on this tutorial and then if you want to share then here we uh, there is an option for file okay click on the file save to your computer this is the method by which you can save your games on your computer and then you can share the file of this game with your students and they can open the game file on their software so this is the method you can share uh, the game file all right okay um so one of our viewers uh, i think she is joined late so tanupriya she is asking that what is the name of the tool we are using here so this is scratch and on scratch we are trying to understand how can we develop digital games and uh, we are understanding coding and uh, everything related to scratch is uh, being discussed here so um sir um anything else you would like to add or uh, ma'am would you like to add something to what sir said uh yes yes so basically uh, what i'm doing i'm just copying the same code here for the minus 1 as i already mentioned that you have to do by yourself but yes i'll show you how it works so here just give me a second so i have copied this if you want to copy or make, if you want to copy the code just click right click duplicate and drag and drop over the second sprite so here is my second sprite and now i'll show you how it work as a negative uh, non met for non metal so i'll just write here minus 1 minus 1 means when my uh, catcher touches the non metallic part then the score will change by negative 1 and then same a pop up sound will appear and the costume will automatically change so if you see here and now i'm going to uh, avoid non metals okay so we all know here let's see iron one hydrogen uh, nickel to bromine so you can see that uh, the score is increasing and decreasing by value 1 1 so i did all right so this is how we can uh, create our game uh, using metal and non metal okay yes sir so, um one of our viewers manisha she, she is asking that can we convert the scratch game to h5p game uh which for in which format html 
H yes HTML. HTML format. Yes, you can create. Uh, you can create your game in the HTML format, or even you can share this game with your friends or with your uh, classmates. Here uh, we have an option on the uh, Google to convert the scratch as BP file to HTML file. Okay. So if you search here, uh, convert as CEO. I'll show you convert SB3 file to HTML. HTML. Uh, yes. So here you can see we call it HTML flyer. HTML uh, flyer. So here is now what you have to do. You use this website. Just upload your project over here. Okay. You can upload your project over here, or even you can paste your link. in this website suppose you are designing a online game online means if you are using scratch software on this tool on this tool means the online scratch tool what you need to do is just copy the link and paste it on this website and this website will create a html link and you can share this link with anybody so this is the website html i f i e r html i f r and here you can convert your scratch uh, files into the html file so this is the method and if you want to know more about the scratch as i already mentioned just log in your account this is the online tool where you can use if you want to use this tool on your mobile phone yes you can use it's a mobile friendly just you need to create your id uh, by joining scratch and then create your scratch games by using this option so it's the similar way if i click here you will find out the same uh, same uh, tool the so that Uh, design uh, or or I can say the software that we have seen in the offline mode. So यहाँ भी बिल्कुल आपको same मिलेगा. Just you can see we have a tutorial option. Click on the tutorial and even you can learn more about it from here. If you want to create stories, if you want to create games, if you want to create a music system kind of, or if you want to design an art. So all the things are here. All right. Yes. yes. So I hope, uh, yeah. So I hope you understand. Now, if you want to take a screenshot, if you want to take a cool picture of this code, what I'll do, I'll I'll resize it properly so that you can take a proper picture or a screenshot of metal, non-metal, or or the catcher. Now I hope it's uh, visible to all of you. Yes, I'll delete this block. Yes, sir. Block. Yes. so this is the code of a metal this is the complete programming of metal the first one is to start the blocks the second is one for dropping the metals from the top to down and this one is the uh, code programming blocks for increasing the value of uh, metal by 11 0.11 so this is the these are the three blocks now i hope you have uh, just take look at the picture i'll i'll open the non metallic part and again i'll summarize this is the code to start the program from the start, uh, beginning now this is the code to drop to fall down the non metallic part from the top to the down and this is the code to reduce the number of uh, scores by minus 1 whenever your non metal touches the catcher block so this is how we have completely done the programming part and the last is the catcher so this is the catcher part means this will help you in in uh, moving the catcher left and right by pressing the right arrow and left arrow and the last is the coming coding for timer so if you want to set the timer for 30 seconds 40 seconds 50 seconds it depends on you completely just you need to change the numbers from here so as of now i used 30 seconds for this game so this is the programming or coding for that timer part Okay. I hope uh, you understand. Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. I'm sure uh, our students, viewers, they're going to take a screenshot, and this is going to be really, really helpful to all of them. So uh, we uh, don't have much time left, so I'll ask you a couple yes. of questions more, and then uh, we'll wrap up this program. So, uh, sir. Um, Okay, um, Zarina is asking that uh, could you please show any more samples of games in Scratch? Uh, so sorry, Zarina, we don't have much time left, but I think that if you will explore Scratch on your own, you will explore many more uh, digital games, and you like them all. You'll be able to decode it as well. Uh, sir has given us every way, and uh, all the information has been shared in this program. Yes, 
Um, so, they, there is a question uh, by a girl and she is uh, saying that can we play it on PS5? On PS5? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. For PS5 we need uh, some different graphics but yes, if you want to use on a uh, browser that, that, that we have an option. For PS5 it's a complete different platform. All right. Okay. Thank you so much, sir, for answering the queries of uh, all our viewers. I'm, I know uh, there are many more questions we have, but uh, because of the lack of time, we can't take all the questions. Thank you so much for uh, letting us know what Scratch is all about and uh, how can we develop these games. These are very interesting and uh, I'm sure our viewers and me, uh, while going home, after going home, I'm going to explore Scratch as much as I can. Thank you so much, sir. So, um, um, this is not the end. I have to give you the information regarding how to register, how to participate in this program. And uh, if you have not registered till now, please do it because uh, we have uh, a lot of things to share with you. There are the details of uh, the this entire training program called Game Based Training. And uh, if you will type CIAT in your Google. This is the home page you will get and among all these options you are seeing here, click on events. The third last option is workshop slash training. If you click here and scroll it down, the current page uh, is the online training on game based learning 20th to 24th of June and today is 24th of June. Click on it. Yes. This is all the information regarding this online training. The schedule is mentioned. All the topics are mentioned. Just scroll it down. Here, all the details are mentioned. This is the QR code. Scan it and be a participant. Fill this form and you can be a participant in this program. If you have not seen the earlier programs, then please watch it on our YouTube channel NCERT official. Here you can see the link has been uploaded for the quiz. So you can start uh, playing the quiz at 6 o'clock today. And this is open till 24th of July 6 p.m. That means you have got one month to uh, answer the questions of the quiz. And if you score 70% and above, you will be eligible to get a certificate. Please check your spam as well. If you do not receive this link in your inbox, I'm sure you'll get it if you have registered yourself. And this is the feedback form. Please, uh, if you have any feedback, write it down and share it with us. So that's everything about this online training on game-based learning. Well, that's just not all because I have a great news for all of you and that is for all the teachers. Here is a banner for all of you. If you will see this, you will understand what I am talking about. Yes. So, the registration has now been opened for National ICT Award for Teachers 2020 and 2021. The last date for nomination and submission is 31st of July. You have more than one month to register yourself. And if you want more information, please visit the website ictaward.ncrt.gov.in. I'm sure you are all going to register yourself and uh, participate as much as you can. So this is all about uh, this webinar, this training series. And we are wrapping up this program. All the very best for your quiz. And uh, we are coming back with another special program of ours that is Sayog. The title of discussion would be Importance of role model for adolescents. Stay here, keep your questions ready and keep on watching PM Evida channels. Thank you once again. Namaskar.